Hey everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I'm going to be going over tips and tricks to show you guys how to get early game diamonds in your new worlds. Now, some of these tips will be obvious, some of them will be not so obvious, and I hope that I can help you in your journey to having all the diamonds in the world. That's right. So guys, let's go ahead and get started. Now remember, if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure you hit that like button. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure you leave a comment below. Let's do this! Okay guys, for our first tip, we are going to talk about Minecraft Seeds. Now, Minecraft Seeds are a great way for you guys to be prepared to come into a world and find diamonds relatively easy. So for example, I generated this world finding a seed on a website, and if I were going to play a new world, this would be a great seed to start because this world actually has quite a bit of diamonds. And not only that, you're going to get a lot of other loot when you uh, when you do this. But the best thing about these worlds that you find with the seeds is that you can find stuff with like cool terrain like that looks awesome over there. Now, if you are like a Mesa fan or you're something like that to where you want some sort of like kind of custom generation in a world, it's going to it's going to benefit you to really, really find a seed. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of against using seeds just for the simple fact they kind of feel like it's cheating now. I kind of feel like, you know, the seeds are there for a reason. If you want to use them, you want to use them regardless. Uh, I know a lot of people that love them. I know a lot of people that hate them. But if you're looking for diamonds and you want them early game, hey, why not use it? You know what I'm saying? So uh, with that being said, this seed right here has supplied many a diamonds with golden apple. Um, but we had six diamonds right off the bat with this seed. So that's uh, that's a, you know, a pickaxe, a sword and a shovel early game. And that's really, really good for the first day of Minecraft. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the second tip. All right, guys, your second tip for finding diamonds early game is coming to the nether. I did this in my Let's Play world, and a lot of people assumed that I cheated because, well, how do you get a nether portal without diamonds? You know, how do you, how do you mine in obsidian? Well, I didn't do it like that. I used a lava bucket and I used water to make a portal. You can generate obsidian by doing that. And a lot of people didn't know that and they assumed that I cheated. Well, you can come to the nether and if you have to get lucky and you happen to have a nether fortress spawn right where you live in the nether or where your portal's at, you can actually find good amounts of loot here. Not even diamonds. Like early game, having a horse is super important because it's a faster mode of transportation. And when you come to the nether, you're finding all these ingots and all these ores uh three diamonds right there you know and then there's chests all over the place here like um so right there there's like five diamonds already and coming to i think coming to the nether is uh probably one of your best options for getting diamonds for tools and things like that really early game it's really simple to do and uh, as long as you get lucky with a fortress um, now sometimes you will have bad luck like um your fortress may not have, or you you may not even have a fortress, you know what I'm saying? But um, for diamonds early game, coming to the nether is definitely one of your best options. The third tip for finding diamonds early game, this one's actually not diamonds, but diamond tools. If you do happen to find a village by using a seed or something like that, there is a villager in these villages that will trade you for some diamond tools. He is named the Armorer. There's also a Weaponsmith as well. The Armorer will most likely trade you diamond armor, the weaponsmith will trade you for diamond tools. And so and once you unlock enough trades, let's grab some coal here and we'll grab coal and we'll grab emeralds. And uh, most of the time, these things are pretty easy to get your hands on, especially coal. So you're going to have a lot of easy game early trades. And sometimes you'll even be able to use wheat, for example. Now, let's just try to open a couple more trades here. But yeah, using using villagers is actually a really good way to get some diamond armor uh and make it really easy so for this guy you're gonna get a protection one diamond chest plate for 18 emeralds 18 emeralds is really easy to come by when you've got trades like uh 16 coal for an emerald and you've got nine iron for an emerald you can get that chest plate no problem so you'll have enchanted early game armor and tools if you decide to go the trade route really easy as well now that one will be a little bit harder you're gonna have to take a little bit of time to get the material for it but it is still a very good option all right guys so your fourth and final tip for this video uh is more of a, one of the most common things you can do obviously you can go strip mining or caving now caving i like to just run through the caves until i find diamonds but if you're more of a calculated person there are techniques you can use to pretty much guarantee that you're going to find diamonds for example 
One of the main techniques that I love to use when I go strip mining is every other two. Uh, so, for example, if I were to go mining, I would probably dig a three high tunnel. And then from there, I would say, let's start a tunnel here. So we would dig this one out a little bit and then go two blocks because you can see each side of these and go from there every other two. This is ensuring that you get maximum efficiency from where you dig, obviously. And if you decide that you still want to, you know, keep mining, um, there is a good way to actually continue this on going higher because we are on level 10. Um, somebody a long time ago decided that level 10 was probably the most common thing to mine with. But uh, all you need to do is just skip over one block. And so you, you've seen these blocks. You want to start looking at other blocks you haven't really seen yet. Uh, and then just skipping over two again. Uh, so this is a great way to strip mine. You can kind of cover everything um, using a speed beacon that's even easier. Now, there's also one other technique that is speed mining that uh, was made popular by Seth Bling and Etho. Um, so there's there's three mining tips, really. You can either go caving, you can, you can strip mine, or you can speed mine. Now, the speed mine is for... Uh, the more advanced player because they've already got beacons and things like that. So since this is early game, I highly recommend you strip mine. It's pretty much one of the easiest ways to find diamonds. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. Let me know which tips you use and which you like the best. In the comment section below, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. Otherwise, if you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. I hope you guys all have a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out.